we're gonna make this. Alright, cool. So that's the pattern that we used. We're actually going to move this over here because we don't need it. And we're going to start fresh. And you know what? I'll actually show y'all how to set up your hi-hat. So let's completely forget about what's here. I'm just going to mute it. And let's start a new, a new little sum sum right here on the right side of everything where everything's at. I'm going to start a new grain, and this is very unorganized. I was probably just trying to get some stuff done really quick, so I apologize for that. And we're going to call this I-H-T-A hi-hat. And let's go ahead and put it in a new little area here. Cool. So what we're going to do now is put this on one shot, and this is just the motion. This is the direction of the hi-hat. If you don't have any good hi-hats, there are some incredible hi-hats in the drum supply section. Good hi-hats for trap are the ones that say 808 on them because trap beats use 808 hi-hats anyways. Let's use this skip hi-hat right here. Cool. The next thing I want to do is change this area here to tape. Alright, now this is what it sounds like. Now we're using grain. So inherently, there are going to be some dope things you have access to right off the bat, which is reverb, distortion, without having to add in another effect somewhere to compensate for what you want to add, if that makes sense. Everything is already right here. Now, a couple things you could do is you can make it retrig so that they cut each other off. So you can never play more than one note at the same time. But as for trap hi-hats, we'll keep it on poly. So I would say this is the best setup for what you want. And if you want to add reverb and distortion later, you definitely can. Let's go ahead and actually add a little bit of distortion. To maybe experiment with the distortion types. Let's turn down the amount. And without it. Real subtle. Let's add some reverb, but let's turn it down because that's a lot. We can also add some delay if we want to get some more bounce into it. So we could go ping pong. And you might want to add this after because it might throw you off if you do it during. Yeah, so we'll probably do like that 316, but we'll add that after, you know, just so we don't throw ourselves off too much. All right. So now we're in this area here. We got a hi-hat. And let's just draw in a little four-bar block. And we'll move the right lo locator here. And I'm doing that by pressing Command on a Mac. I believe it's Control on a Windows to move the right loop locator. I actually don't know crap about Windows, so I could be incredibly wrong. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is put a note here. So... If you haven't changed anything as far as the pitch on your hi-hat, the bass note will be on C3. And you can grab the pen tool or press W to start drawing those in. All right, now that's, you know, a simple pattern. And you could do that if that's what you wanted to. But I'm here to show y'all how to sauce it up and make it less stiff. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is... Add some variation. So there's a couple ways to do this while you're in the sequencer. So velocity is the first way to add variation. So what you want to do is every other hi-hat, why don't you grab it, turn down the velocity, all right? And you could actually do it with the pen tool as well. So you could come in, turn down the velocity, and experiment with how you do it. You don't have to do it exactly how I do it. But let's hear what this sounds like. And... Another thing on that grain, if you want to hear your velocity changing, you need to turn up the velocity 
that's the filter velocity. My bad. You need to turn up the velocity to make sure it's actually affecting the sound. So right now, it's not even doing anything. So right here, amp velocity, this is the one you want to change. Amp velocity, not that one. That is the filter. The filter is going to cut out the highs and lows of the hi-hat. We're not doing that right now. We are simply adding the velocity to the volume. So the velocity, which is what we're changing here, will affect how loud or how hard or soft the hi-hats are playing. So let's hear it. Instantly has more bounce than if it was just like this. Listen to that in juxtaposition, compare it to each other. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you got that bounce in there. Another thing you could do is like slide these over a little bit. Now you can do it manually or you can use Reason's groove area, but I'm gonna show you how to do it manually because it's less confusing for a beginner. And you do something like that, you just come up to the position and you just move it over just a little bit. So where was it before? You want to put it back where it was then you do command uh k command k on a mac so that's what it was before and now we're going to select whoops hold down shift and select those notes that you lowered the velocity on in my case it's every other note and i'm just going to drag it over and i like to start off with the second uh selection and not the first so starting every other note starting from the second one and that might be a little bit too much so i'm going to select those again move them less okay cool so i think that sounds dope now another thing you can do is use that tool window so if you hit f8 on your keyboard it might not work for you if you don't have that selected or um that option Select it on your computer so that it'll pull up when you hit the modifier key. So you can come up to window and hit show tool window and it should pop up for you. Now what we can do here is also change the note velocities, which you'll see here. And you can randomize them. You can scale them up. You can set them fixed or you can add a number to all of them. So if I hit add 20, then they'll all go up by uh, 20. Another thing we can do is use the legato adjustments. So this will make all of the notes side by side so they're not cutting each other off. That's another thing that'll come in handy, this side by side option right here. So it doesn't sound like, you know, stickly. Before it was like now it's like you know? Okay, cool. So that is velocity and swing so that is very important for your hi-hats now space is also important now you might have a, a hi-hat pattern that sounds great just doing the one two one two all the way through and that's perfectly fine but let's say you get a beat and you don't want to do that then you can just add some rolls right so let's go in here and let's see about adding a roll let's duplicate this over and let's add we'll zoom in and let's add a roll here. And I'm just going to grab that pencil tool and click in here. All right. And let's also add a couple rolls here. One, two, and here. And experiment with where you place your rolls as of right now. Mine are just at the end of the little sections. But I could put one here if I wanted to, you know? Whoops. Right? So we could do that right there. And those are our rolls. So we got some rolls. And if we want to, you know, change the velocity of the rolls, we can do that too. So let's come in and we can make it ramp up. And we actually need to make sure we don't have a note selected when we're doing this ramp. Because it'll only want to affect that note. All right. Now, in order to get that ramp, I'm holding down Option and Command. So I think it'll be Option and Control on a Windows. You might have to look that up. I'm so sorry. I don't know. All right. Cool. A little too much on that. Cool. Let's start over. 
and you also have that pitching option here so if you were to just do your hi-hat on a let's say uh, if you were to just do your hi-hat on a kong you wouldn't easily be able to pitch it because you don't have access to all of these notes and being able to shift it you would only have access to the note that it's located on that kong that makes sense that's cool so we can add a second layer here A cool thing you can do with grain, and this is going to get into the advanced side of things. A cool thing you can do with grain is come into the source area and you're going to select key and octave. So whichever note you're playing on these hi-hats, depending on where it's at, high or low, you can pan it accordingly. So we're going to go destination, amplifier, pan. And if you haven't already, you like this video, give it a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we're going to turn this up to 100 so you can hear what's going on. Now that's super drastic, so we definitely don't need that much. So we're going to turn it down to about 50 and let's listen to that. All right, cool. So that sounds pretty wavy to me. And let's continue this little uh, two-step uh, low hat thing. And we'll drop this down. Now keep in mind, every hi-hat pattern doesn't have to do all of this. And we'll add this area over here. Let's see. I'm actually going to put these bottom notes in a separate channel so that they don't play all the way through. It'll just be kind of like a transition part. Some things wouldn't work to play all the way through. So we're going to move selected notes to a new lane and we're going to hit M to mute these specific notes. Cool, so I'm liking how that delay sounds. If you wanted to get more intricate with the delay, then you will want to use a send effect. So in order to use a send effect, we're going to come up to where it says mix on the mixer channel of the hi-hat. And you see all these numbers over here on the side. So these are the different send effects that are already in the template. So I'm going to make my own by right clicking, create send effect. And we're going to choose the delay that comes with the reason. There's a couple. We're going to use the echo. And we're going to make our own delay. So I'm going to turn on five here. And now we're going to program the delay, like I said. So let's turn on ping pong. And we're going to turn on keep pitch so that the delays don't go too crazy high or too crazy low. But you could experiment with turning it off, of course. Whoops. Cool, so our time is at 316 to start. And we can color the delays. We can make it sound different, which is why I like using the send effect approach as opposed to just using the one that's in the grain. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of distortion from the drive. We got overdrive, distortion, tube. Let's just use tube. And we're going to filter it a little bit. Uh, turn down the resonance. This area is the diffusion. This is spreading out the sound of the delays.
So that 1 4th delay is kind of cool. It's actually pretty. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit so it's not too much. So it's like a little baby echo in the background now. All right, so I think that actually sums up everything I wanted to cover on hi-hats. We cover velocity, we cover swing, we cover, cover pitching, we cover rolls, we cover reverb, we cover delay, we cover auto pan. Yeah, man, I think that's everything. So if y'all have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Again, if you haven't liked this video, give it a like, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.